Hi, it's Julie Wolf with another another Skype tip. Uh, there's something called a rich mood editor put out by Pamela and other people, and this is Pamela's version. Um, someone on Skype had just asked me to help them with with this. This this actually um, makes your the mood the bubble next to your picture um, dynamic and. Uh, has hyperlinks and uh, hypertext in in the in the bubble in that mood next to your picture in Skype. So he, here's the problem. Um, uh, someone had told me that they they can't seem to get these uh, add to Skype or from Skype to buttons colored. It's it's grayed out. It's not it's not uh, attached to Skype. So um, the answer is to uh, go into the Skype API and and attach it. <laughs> so normally, when you download this and um, you know go through the normal process, you see a yellow at the top of your Skype. You see a yellow um, banner telling you to um, allow or or not allow. And um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I can't seem to produce it in uh, Skype again because I've already downloaded the Rich Mood uh, editor myself. So I'm going to go to a video that I've done <laughs> in the past for attaching another application to, to uh, Skype. So let me expand this and show you what the yellow banner would look like. And then let me show you what to do if you can't find that yellow um, attach Skype to API banner. <coughs> what you need to do next is actually go to your Skype. If you don't see this yellow bar, there hi you Wayne. Go. <laughs> and um, allow. Get this. Uh, we go. So you you want to allow okay, it. Okay, <laughs> so this big yellow bar should show up. You're going to allow XSky. XSky wants to use Skype allow access you're attaching that you're saying it's okay to attach X guy with Skype and Skype with X guy. And that's now that should fix everything. Ta -da! Now we have buttons that are not grayed out. Right. So um, that's the same with the rich text mood editor. That that application is X guy for Skype. Um, but seeing as how I couldn't seem to manage to reproduce that happening in my in my own Skype when I went to launch the rich mood text um, I thought I'd show you what the yellow bar would look like. Um, of course, this will say, you know, mood editor instead of X guy. Uh, but if there's another solution, if you um, can't get that yellow bar to come up, you just go to Tools, Options, Advanced, and I will put this on in the in the message Tools, Options, Advanced, so you can look at it. Uh, visually, without having to stop the video, um, in text, I will I will put the words and the instructions. So, anyways, and then you go to this these double arrows here that indicates the API manage other programs access to Skype, and then we're going to look for that program. There it is. So what you do, and this sometimes confuses people, is you need to hit change. Not remove, but change. So you need to change it, and that will give you this, these two choices to either do not allow this program or allow this program. OK. Then you hit OK. And let's bring up the Rich Mood Text Editor. And wait a minute. We need to finish, I think. And there it is. They're blue. They're now they're no longer gray, just like <laughs> attaching other applications. Um, you know, just like I showed in the video with the X guy problems. Um, things are grayed out. They're they're not activated. They're not attached to Skype. So here now they're they're not gray. They're colored. You can attach them to Skype. You can go and uh, get your different. These are in your files and folders in your computer. Hopefully you have a, a place where you keep your Skype stuff. <laughs> That's what mine's called, Skype stuff. And inside of that folder, I've got my all my mood messages. But you might want to have different mood messages at different times. So it's easy to change out your mood messages. Here's one that I did without the rich mood text editor. And I'm going to take the whole link 
and um, just make these words a link. There you go. There's my Skype tips room. You can just click that. That'll be in my Skype mood. I'll show you that in a second. How to use Skype for business. Um, that should be my Skype tips. Uh, so we'll put my Skype tips there. Let's see. I'm going to go get my Skype tips from my blog. Incomeassurance.com slash blog. And then um, you get to the Skype tips because tips because it's on the right just below the uh, on the right well right currently it's below the global visitors Skype tips okay so you click that and you end up here and uh, ultimately this is where you end up you can see a picture of me here pop up so that's good to show in a video come on pop up there I am <laughs> Anyway, so I've got that link. I'm going back to my Rich Mood Text Editor. And I'm going to make these words a link. I don't know how much of this will show. Not that much shows in your mood. And uh, also, follow my Google profile. So instead of writing URLs that are not clickable, you can make these words links. And you can make them colored and you can make them flash. I don't like too much flashiness on, on mine. It kind of scares people away. But there's uh, three things people can do when they when they go to my my uh, my mood. I don't know how best that would look. But um, that's it. Then you save. Let, let's save this as uh, Skype mood message. Um, Tips room my Skype tips my Skype chat room and my Google so I'll just call it that Ta -da. all right so I believe this will change my current mood will be cleared am I sure yes and I'll show you what that does really quick then we'll be done with this video okay so let's see This says I need to update my mood message. What did I do wrong? Need help with Skype or Skype tools? See, there's a link. And um, that that's, if you mouse over it, that's where it goes to. So, um, it, it, being able to hypertext your, your, uh, your words, <laughs> make them links in your mood. Um, let's see, let's look at Rodney's mood. Let's look at Lawrence's mood. How's that? Lawrence's mood. Okay. Post free classify ads, reach millions. This tool is a game changer. Um, so that's what you can do with the rich mood text editor. But you have to first attach it to Skype. Okay. You have to ta attach it to Skype. So if you don't see that yellow bar at the top, telling you with the double arrows going in opposite directions telling you to either allow the, the application to attach to Skype or to not allow it then remember you can go to tools options advanced don't forget the advanced manage other programs and then you have to find the program in here and if it's not in there then you haven't downloaded it and executed it yet so um, and then don't forget the change and the allow and that will um, that will make these no longer gray <laughs> so I hope that helps and if you're not subscribed to my Skype tips you can find it at incomeassurance.com slash Skype or just find me Julie Wolf on Skype J-U-L-I-E-W-O-L-F and my buttons are here also on this page. So if you need to contact me on Skype for help, you can call me, you can chat with me, you can view my profile, and you can add me to Skype. And if you need help getting buttons like this, I've got that tip somewhere, or just ask me. Anyway, um, hope to see you um, on Skype. See you later. Bye.